I want to speak on this topic which I titled God's original, God's original plan for man. God's original plan for man. Let somebody say God's original plan God's original. for me. For me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I want you to understand that when you want to build a house, you need what we call architectural plan. You need a plan. You see, in every civilized society, you cannot get land and begin to build. You need to draw a plan, and that plan needs to be approved. Hallelujah. Yeah. You take your plan to the authority, the authority will look at the location and the plan that you have made, if it is in consonant with the town planning authority. Then they're going to approve that plan. Then you can start building the house. Hallelujah. Amen. But one thing I want you to understand is that every builder wants to build according to the pattern. You cannot build outside the pattern that is already drawn. You build according to the pattern that is drawn. And this is what I want you to understand this morning. There is a pattern, there is a plan that God had when he created man. God had an intention when he created man. We read it in that Genesis chapter 1 from verse 25. In verse 26, God, you know, after creating the heavens, you know from the Bible, that the heaven was the first thing that God created. Then, and you know, the Bible talks about three heavens. The first heaven, the second heaven, and the third heaven. The Bible says the third heaven is where, that area where God lives. And we can know that the location of the third heaven is spiritually up. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Now, but when God had created the heavens, last of all, he created the earth. And I used to say jocularly that if God created the heavens and he created the earth, it means God had the place he was living before he created the heavens. The heaven was not there when God was. It was not the heaven that appeared first. It was God that appeared first. That means if God created the heavens, God must have power over the heaven. Now let me tell you, the heaven is not the ultimate. God is the ultimate. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says in, in Revelation chapter 21, he said, God will roll away the old heaven and he will demolish the old earth, this earth. And he's going to create a new heaven and he's going to create a new earth. Hallelujah. Amen. This tells you that God has got power to do what he wants to do. And so after he created the heavens, he created the earth. And when he created the earth, he created all things that are on earth. And last of all, he created man. I don't know why God created man last. Because after God created man, that was the end of creation. There was nothing else that was created. Everything that we will ever need was created before we were created. Now, remember, I'm talking to you on this topic, God's original plan for you and for me, or God's original plan for man. Hallelujah. Amen. After God created man, I want you to put this at the back of your mind. After God created man, he created nothing else. Whatever you see around you had been created. It's only now we are discovering it. When God created the earth, there was no motor car. 
but the technology to do motor car had been created by God. But Adam didn't see it. So Adam did not enjoy motor car. He did not enjoy electricity. Abraham did not enjoy motor car. He did not enjoy electricity. Our Lord Jesus Christ, when he was walking the street of Jerusalem, even though the knowledge of electricity and microphone was already there in the world, but there were no scientists who discovered these things in the time of Jesus. And hence, Jesus preached with his mouth, not with microphone. When God created the earth, he created everything. There was nothing that was left. And that's why somebody says, after the creation of the earth, God put the heart in autopilot, meaning the earth can run itself. You know, when you are flying, the pilot can sit down and put it in autopilot, and the autopilot will begin to pilot the, the airplane to where you are going. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So that's how God created this world. And in Genesis chapter 8, verse 22, God said, As long as the earth remained, seed time and harvest time will never cease. This tells you, when you read that verse 22 to the end, it tells you that there are God has put some laws in motion on planet earth. Amen. 